with a Ramada Take a bow right after the drama Road to the father Got real roots like the Greek trotter Mosaic, the coke wet The bottle rose The heat's gold plated The feet dolce Track up the beat I might OJ The niggas role playing The whole pain I fall in full spring The cold and wind so strange I got a special fragrance for you today one that does not get a lot of attention from Freycom and a house that does not get a lot of attention from Freycom and this is a complete blind buy for me this is called Tobacco 12 from a house called West 3rd and as you folks have already seen uh, I very much enjoy shining light on some of these smaller indie houses you know they usually need that light shined on them and with them you're usually gonna get niche quality fragrances at very fair price points now I don't remember how I found out about this house. I think I read about them somewhere online and I looked them up and I found the prices to be really good and the notes to be really interesting on some of their fragrances. So I decided to pick one up that looked most of my alley, um, order it and give it a go. And if I liked it, of course, I'd be back for more fragrances down the road. Now, West Third is a small niche fragrance based atelier in Seattle. Uh, they opened up in 2008, and the founder is a gentleman named Michael Lauren Probst. I think Probst, Probst, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. And the idea behind this house is sort of vintage Americana with a fine weave of European splendor. And this one here, the one that I went for, guys, is called Tobacco 1812. It comes in one size, two ounces for $32, so great price. And with delivery, I'll run you about 40 bucks. The notes on it are tobacco leaf, spices, honey, chocolate, tonka bean, tobacco, tobacco blossom, dried fruit, and exotic wood. As far as your presentation goes, really like this vintage Americana thing. Uh, your box is West Third brand, smell good daily, made in the USA, tonic body spray. The um, name of the fragrance is a black sticker on the box, and it's eau de toilette, two fluid ounces. Um, you know, some designs on the box as well. And in the back it says, in bygone days, roads teemed with traveling salesmen peddling botanical con concoctions with the promise to cure everything that ails. Our promise, is, our promise is one thing, smell good daily. Luck is on your side to have found the genuine article. Do yourself a favor and pick up a bottle today so you can, so you too can smell good daily. Um, so it sort of has that snake oil salesman pitch. Um, but we'll see if this is the real deal or this is snake oil. And then as far as your bottle goes, very basic, uh, sort of indie bottle. You have that sticker on the front again with the fragrance name, uh, and a very a good atomizer. You know, you're not going to get any complaints. It does the job. Uh, let me spray a little on my arm and it does the job well. So no, no complaints from me on presentation from this house. And guys, as far as the fragrance goes, no bullshit because you know me and I just don't do that. It's not my M.O. This is as close to tobacco vanille as anything I've ever smelled with the exception maybe of Tobacco Rouge by Fadon. I have not smelled Herod by Parfum de Marley so I can't comment on that yet. But I don't think that Spice Bomb by Victor and Roth or Eau de Bao by L'Occitane or Insurrection Dark by Rien smell like tobacco vanille. And I think that's a good thing because they do their own thing. They're heavier on sweetness and they've dialed down the pipe tobacco, those fragrances. To me, Tobacco Vigny and Tobacco Rouge are both excellent because those fragrances are about the pipe tobacco first and in Tobacco Vigny's case, the vanilla second and in Tobacco Rouge's case, the honey is secondary. So, um, but this to me is, I'll tell you why to me this is an awesome scent. Because this is sort of 50-50. I get half tobacco leaf and a very nice high-end tobacco leaf. You know, very like, very, actually I don't want to say tobacco leaf. Because that's like, that sort of implies something that's drier um, and um, sort of more uh, more earthy. This is, this is pipe tobacco. And so it's like half pipe tobacco and then half tonka bean, dried fruit, and cocoa. That's sort of the breakdown I get on this fragrance. So sort of like a hybrid of tobacco vanille and spice bomb, but more so tobacco vanille. And um, understand, man, this is a, a hybrid of those two fragrances at a $32 price point. So you really think about that for a moment. Um, now, as you could probably expect, 
performance on this is not going to be as good as tobacco vanille. That's just the reality of the situation. You all, guys all know tobacco vanille, Tuscan leather, all those, those heavy hitting Tom Ford fragrances are beasts and a half. But I would say this is certainly in par with a good designer scent like Spice Bum or Eau de Bao in terms of your performance. You know, I've gotten eight hours of longevity the three or four days that I've worn this, and it projected well for about six. And you will also get some nice sillage with this. Now, as far as when you can wear a fragrance like this, I mean, I think you guys know the drill. This is going to do much better for you in colder months uh, than it will in warm. I've been wearing it in warmer weather just to test it, but you want to rock this in all its glory in the fall and in the winter. And the colder outside, uh, the better that this is going to do for you, obviously. It's certainly a unisex scent, probably going to do better for men than women. It's versatile as fuck as well. Dates, casual days, nights work. To me, it, it's, it's perfect for all those occasions in my opinion. So what's the takeaway on this fragrance? Well, I'll tell you folks, I am blown away, and I, I mean that. You don't hear me say blown away in these videos often, I don't know ever. But I'm blown away by West Third, and I have, um, I've been in no communication with this house prior to the review. I did reach out to the owner in Perfume, and he is sending me samples of some of the other stuff. But I have no reason to slant this or um, or bend it or exaggerate it, you know? I don't really know shit about West Third. Uh, I took a chance on them, and I'm just so beyond impressed with this composition. Uh, and I, But I, I, I do have to say this, and this is by no means at a, a shot at the job that, that West Third did with this fragrance, but this is not what I would call an original composition. Um, but, 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 there are at least 10 other scents in their library that I want to try and look completely original. And if that, my friends, is any sort of indication of what this perfume is capable of at a, this price point, well, then I guess I found a new favorite house. Uh, that's how I impressed I am with this fragrance. And as I said, I can't wait to get those samples and do another episode on their samples and more of a brand profile they have an oud scent that i'm really interested in they have a smoky fig scent that i'm really interested in a leather scent an amber scent so there's a lot to for me to be excited about and you guys too in regards to west third so what am i rating tobacco 1812 well pretty easy pretty simple here it's a 9 out of 10 for me the only negative or not even a negative but what keeps it from being a 10 out of 10 for me is that tobacco vanille was out there first and so to me everything in this style that comes out after this after tobacco vanille is going to be if not a clone then at least very heavily inspired by what tom ford did but as i said very anxious to see what else this house can do and what other fragrances in their lineup smell like Everything else, though, with this fragrance is on point. Presentation is very cool, sort of like, as I said, snake oil, turn of the century, bear, heroin packaging. Uh, it's available online and in quite a few stores. It smells absolutely fantastic. Very good performance out of this. And I think most importantly is the price point, which is basically incredible for a product of this quality. Believe me. I thought long and hard about giving this out a 10 out of 10, but everything else that I've given a 10 out of 10 to, if you look down the line, right, I did, I gave a 10 out of 10 to Fahrenheit, I gave a 10 out of 10 to Germanium Pour Monsieur by Frederick Ma, I gave a 10 out of 10 to Roadster by Cartier, and I gave a 10 out of 10 to Interlude Man by Amouage, and Colonia Intensa Oud by Aqua de Parma. And if you look at those, those are one of ones in my mind. They're totally unique fragrances, and I want to be consistent in that regard because otherwise this this very well might have gotten a 10 out of 10. It's the truth. Um, so I'll be doing a brand profile on them real soon. Please check them out. I would say go buy this, guys. $32. If you're wanting tobacco vanille, if you're in the market for tobacco vanille, give this a whirl first. At $32, it's not going to cost you, obviously. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. Worst case scenario, I'm sure after this video, there'll be tons of people wanting samples or splits of this, so you probably get rid of it that way. Um, I have no reason to push this fragrance whatsoever, other than I was one of these guys that didn't want to buy tobacco vanille because I know so many other people that wear it. And for $210, I just wasn't I wasn't uh, interested in making that investment. Something that was going to make me smell like a lot of other people that I know. So I was always sort of looking for an alternative uh, at a lower price. And, and I thought Tabac Rouge was going to be that alternative. 
Uh, I thought that if Herod blew me away and was very different, that might be the alternative. But I think I've got my alternative, and I've got it at $32. I'll let you boy. Anyway, my name is Maximilian. Maximilian must know. You guys know what it is. Uh, I'll see you again real soon. Check out West Third. Trust me. Don't sleep on this fragrance, guys. This is the one I'm telling you. Shit. Don't sleep Sell on soft it. Shit. My whip flow like a sawfish. My wrist and neck frostbit. Look how it's more tip. Since you shot, slip you off your feet like a forklift. I hang glide off the cliff with just a trench on. You drop your body off from Crenshaw. Bend your young whore from Singapore. Squeeze to my fingers.